Welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this video. This video is going to be entitled Can You Be Pro Black While Dating a Caucasian? Now, as of late, I've been seeing a lot of articles, I've been reading a lot of material, and I've been seeing a lot of YouTube uh, videos based around the ideal of swirling um, and having biracial kids and marrying. Uh, different races of people but then maintaining your uh, black consciousness or pro-blackness now a lot of brothers in the conscious community and so-called pro-blacks have now said they've uh, been making mention that they should be able to date white women but still be conscious and pro-black I believe that's the most laughable laughable thing that I've ever heard uh, when you guys go back to I'm gonna get you sucker and you look at the scene with Clarence Williams the third with Ken W. Wayne's uh, where he was the black nationalist um, and he had the white wife and the two white kids but then he had to fight the power stuff and all the daishikis and the Malcolm X designs and Huey Newton but he was loving white women let's go to uh, Living color, even in that when they made fun of the fake militant, and then we go even further into the another uh, joke that the Wayne brothers put out there was the joke on South Central why drinking your juice, and he had the guy that was militant, but he thirsted for white females. That's what these guys look like in sisters that says that they look exactly like that because it is very hypocritical to say that your consciousness, but then. The conscious community, black nationalism, pro-black, whatever you want to call it, stands for black marriage. They advocate black women, they advocate black marriage and black men. So, to say that, you know, you could be pro-black while dating... And, and okay, let's just play this game. Let's play this game real quick. Say you want to be conscious and you want to be pro-black, but you fall in love with somebody non-black. It could be Latino, it could be Middle Eastern, white, whatever, female or male. But you call yourself pro-black. You're fighting against the status quo. You're trying to preserve your race. You're speaking out against certain things, stereotypes, and all that stuff there. But, you know, you're married to this non-black person. Now, will they go out there and help you in your struggle against uh, white supremacy? That's the question. Will these individuals get out there and protest or boycott or do any of the things but they feel the same way you feel and the answer is absolutely no because in the United States most interracial marriages result in black people that nine to the other ten changing to not offend who they go out with mainly white women so your opinions start to shift and change based on who you're dating because they're not going to feel the same way you feel now people may look at you and say okay I don't like the couple in question because they're biracial but in reality you're calling yourself advocating for the upliftment of black people but then at the same time you're dating a non-black person that's like a conflict of interest based on that and I'm not saying that you guys can't do that but don't call yourself a conscious person don't call yourself a black nationalist don't call yourself a pan-Africanism or don't call yourself a pro-black if you're into that these are facts you should not call yourself anything. You could do whatever you want to do. You want to wear dashikis and dreads, all that stuff. There, I have no issue with it. But you're not a pro-black because you're not for the upliftment of black marriage, black kids, uh, black unity in the black community. You're basically saying that okay, you know, I want to swirl and I want to have my cake and eat both. I want to have my cake and ice cream, and, and that's that. And this is mainly coming from black men. These are black men. Who just wants to fuck white females basically that's just it they want to fuck and get easy pussy and i'm sorry to sound crass they want uh white pussy so you know that's that's just what it is and so you can't do both at the same time these are facts they won't ask and so they don't want to teach about and why are we having this conversation they could teach about literature they could teach about uh artwork, his historical stuff, businesses, and we're taking time out again to have this kind of conversation 
about interracial dating all over again. And we should be talking about other different things that pertain to black nationalism and um, black of uh, the upliftment of African American individuals. And we're spending time on, you know, who we want to fuck and have sex with. Because that's basically what it comes down to. It comes down to, I want to have sex with women that's non-black. That's what it comes down to. And you shouldn't have to write articles to justify that. Or men that's non-black, by the way, too. Vice versa for women. But that's basically what this whole argument comes down to. It's nothing but dick and pussy. And that's that. And you having these urges, just like priests. It's the same thing with priests. Priests, they take a vow of, of celibacy. And so at times you hear about priests renouncing their uh, religion based on them wanting to have sex with a woman or sex with boys, maybe, or gay. So it's the same thing with these conscious dudes. They're uh, evidently, or poor black dudes, they're evidently not getting the black females that they, I guess, they crave for. So I guess now they're trying to change the conscious community and change the black nationalism to fit what they want to do and want to have sex. Because a lot of these guys, and I know this for a fact, of uh, the conscious community and black nationalists and pan Africanism, some brothers have been caught with, you know, just like Brother Polite. They've been caught fucking around with other women because their their urges for the sex is it becomes stronger for these women that are non uh, black. But you guys could do that. It's nothing wrong with them. You just can't call yourself that. You should take that label off. Just say, hey, you know, you don't like racism, but don't play this game about you know I uh, am pro black and I'm doing this and doing that. You look like Clarence Williams the third off of in, uh, I'm gonna get you sucker. You come off basically the same way as him because he was and the message that the Waynes was putting out there is these guys is hypocrites. So don't claim to be something that you're really not serious about. If you're serious about uh, black liberation, then you're going to promote it in many ways. Could you imagine Malcolm X saying the shit that you niggas are saying? Could you imagine Farrakhan saying this? Dr. Martin Luther King saying this? Could you imagine Spike Lee saying this? Bill, uh, uh, who else? I could think of Mike Tyson. There's different figures saying what you're saying. Uh, uh, my, yeah, my mother, I said that. Could you imagine these guys? Uh, 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 what's his name? Marcus Garvey. Could you imagine these men saying the stuff that you guys are saying? Because that pussy look good and you want to fuck it. Because that's all that is. You know, you can't get the chocolate queens. You, can't, you don't want a queen to fuck. So you want to go with the snow bunny. Because that's basically what it is. You don't want the snow bunny, but you you don't want a queen, so you want the snow bunny. And there's a lot of good queens that's freaks out there that you can fuck. But instead, you want that, that Caucasian queen. And so you want the snow bunny. So we write articles justifying why we want to have sex with these other people. Because it boils down to sex. It doesn't boil down to love. It don't boil down to that shit. It's like, I want to fuck be a white woman. And you could do that. But don't claim to be pro-black. Let's not write these stupid articles up on the root. And let's not write stupid articles online. And it's nothing but the root, the, the gay website, the homosexual website, uh, people like Roland Martin, people like uh, 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 just different individuals out there who is promoting this garbage. But me, I'm an old school black nationalist. I practice black nationalism. And I stand by the code of black woman, black man. Uh, black family structure. That's what I stand by. Black businesses uh, and building a black empire within the United States. So I'm always going to stand by that code. So I'm not going to deviate. So anybody that decides to go that route, we have to out them in the most harshest ways. They have to go. We have to bounce them. They, that means you're fake, just like Clarence Williams III off of Eleven Color. Shout out to the brothers and sisters that speaking out against this. Like and share this video. People, peace out.